Originality.ai, how does it work exactly? <laughs> Let's talk about it because this is kind of a new tool that just came out. It's in beta right now, but it allows you to scan your content or content that was written for you and detect whether it was written by AI and whether there's plagiarism in the content. So this is extremely helpful for anyone who's publishing content online and wants to determine you know, whether it was written by AI or not. In fact, the creation of this, the, the creators of this tool built this tool because they, they were publishing you know, millions of words a month. And when they were doing that, they wanted to be able to tell if the content that they were having created was created by a human or by AI. You know, when you buy content from somebody, you want to actually make sure that it's written by a human if that's what you're buying. Right, so you don't want them to just put it put it into a tool, generate some content, and send it back to you if that's not what you're buying. So, they they created this tool so that you could come in and see, like, let's say you wanted somebody to write an article for you about AI content detection, and they write the article for you. You're like, oh, this is great. You come in here, you put it in under, you know, all you do is come over to content scan, you put the content in here, paste it in, click detect AI, click detect plagiarism, and scan now. And I'll leave a link below where you can check all these tools out, but you would be able to then detect whether the content was actually written by the person who's claiming to have written it for you, or if it was plagiarized or written by AI, which, as you can imagine, would be extremely beneficial <laughs> if you're ordering lots and lots and lots of content. It also works great if you are just, you know, testing different tools and seeing what the um, AI content detection level is for the content or whether there's plagiarism. But you can see if, if somebody was just using this tool, Article Forge, to write articles for you and trying to pass them off as original content that they had written themselves, all you'd need to do is drop it into originality.ai and you'd know pretty much instantly that with basically what this tool is saying is 90% means that they're 90% confident that the content was written by AI and not a human. So they're 100% confident that this content was written by AI <laughs> and that there's 0% confidence that it was written by a human. So they, they're able to detect a bunch of different uh, AI models too. Chat, T, chat uh, not chat GPT, but GPT2, GPTJ, Neo, 3, and I'm sure there's others that they're going to be rolling out. So essentially what that means is most of the most the most common models are able to be detected by this tool. Just keep in mind, and they just added this recently, but it looks like this score is not how much of the content is AI. It's um, how confident they are that the content is AI, right? So if... If it's 50-50, then they're not really sure if it's AI or if it's human. It could be either one. <laughs> and if it's 100% original, in fact, let's just do a test right now. Um, I was testing this earlier just to see what it would say. But this is content I've written myself. Um, we'll go back to the content scan here. Check plagiarism, scan this. It shouldn't take long to scan this one because it's uh, not a very long <clears throat> piece of content. But you can see it's saying 100% confident that it's original. Not written by AI at all. That's because I wrote it myself. <laughs> so this tool definitely works. I've been playing around with it for a while now. And like I said, I'll leave a link below. In fact, I'll leave a link to all these different tools I referenced below where you can check them out. But if you write content with different AI tools, it's super helpful because Google is, well, it's funny that this article is about this, but Google is, is now detecting AI content and, and flagging it as spammy. And you, you can take content that you had written, whether it's in tools that you've used or just had other people create for you, drop it in here, see if they're plagiarizing stuff, see if they're using AI tools to create it or if it was written by a human, which is just really helpful information to know, very empowering for a publisher who is sourcing content from places.
to know, is this content written by a human or was it written by AI? And up until now, this is a little bit difficult to tell. So with the advent of tools like originality.ai, it's really empowering publishers to be able to um, understand how their content was created. So I, I hope you found this helpful. Um, there's one more thing I wanted to talk about or a couple more things real quick. They just added this website scan feature here where you can now scan an entire website. So you could scan a new site, basically you put your website in here. It can scan up to a thousand pages. So it will scan basically the entire website. And then it's going to give you a site map showing, you know, what's going on. And then you can see what, what the score is for each individual page, which is great if you have a huge website and you're not sure, you know, maybe you're buying a website, buying a blog from someone and you want to know, is this blog full of AI written content or was it all written by humans? Well, now you can just come in here, scan an entire website and know that. Also, you can add team members. So you can have a whole bunch of people using the tool. They also have a really cool Chrome extension that they've rolled out where you can essentially just scan stuff on the go. You can actually even just highlight text like on a website, right click and then scan it. I haven't downloaded it yet, uh, but it's looking like the, you know, this is a new tool, so they're still building some features out, but it's looking like they're going to be starting to roll this out in a way that's uh, more helpful for people that are doing content at scale, you know, like a lot of, a lot, a lot of content. Um, so I hope you found this video helpful in general. If there was anything you had questions about in terms of how originality.ai works, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.